Heyo everybody, Haku here with um, this week's and today's uh, The Walking Dead discussion. And this one's going to be a bit of, um, I'm going to say before I even get started, there's going to be no spoilers here, it's no, not even comic spoilers. And I definitely do not want spoilers in the comments, I'm sure nobody wants to see them. So again, I would like to respectfully ask you that if you do have spoilers, please do not post them. Um, until after the episode airs. After the episode airs, I say do whatever you want. But until the episode airs, don't post spoilers. Because, like, it just it ruins a lot of the fun for a lot of people. Especially since I think this is going to be shocking, and that's what the video is about. It's about, are we, are we all prepared for this finale? Are we all ready? And what I mean for that is, I'm going to go over some of the stuff we know... Um, again, no spoilers, no comic spoilers even. Just stuff we know that's been announced so far. And of the stuff we know that's announced, um, I'm going to talk about like what cast members have gone on interviews to say about the finale, about their thoughts on it, um, maybe people that have been cast for it, things like that. And um, yeah, pretty much are we ready because I think that the comic readers know that the comics are very brutal, but seeing it in live action, sometimes I have to tone that back a bit, but it's still just as gruesome or brutal in a different way because you're seeing it in live action. And from what we've um, heard from the different actors and all the different things so far, this is going to be probably the darkest, most brutal thing that they've ever covered on the show. And it seems they've really been building that way, especially with Not Tomorrow Yet, very dark themes, even, um, it seems like it's just Not Tomorrow Yet, we got the dark themes of, like, preemptive killing and killing people, humans, people, in their sleep. Um, then we got burning people alive, and, with, like, with Carol, the struggle, whether it's right to kill them, they're terrible people, but, that we've seen so far, but... Is it, is it right? Is it right to kill them even if they're terrible? And there's that struggle there. And then even going into last episode, we saw it was really dark to see, like, the baby shoe and the leftovers of an eaten baby. Like, the show is building up for the darkest thing yet. And I think even from what they're saying in this next episode, episode 15, it could be very... Um, I actually think we're going to get a death. I don't know if it's going to be a major death. I think it might be somebody minor, like maybe Tobin or something. But um, we could even get a major death. And then in the finale, of course, everyone's expecting a major death. I think actually, if we got a major death in 15 and then like kind of a minor one in 16, I think that would surprise people even more. But I doubt they'll do things like that because then the finale wouldn't be as hype and... I personally don't think it's going to go that way, given the things that I'm going to say that the actors have said in interviews. I want to start off saying that um, it's going to be, it's confirmed as being 90 minutes long, which I'm very, very excited about. I love when we do long episodes. I think the only, the finale, or the season premiere this season was kind of a, eh, 90 minutes. Um, and, you know, now that I think about it, Maybe I'm not that into most of the 90-minute episodes. Because, <laughs> like, the Morgan episode, what is it, Here's Not Here, a lot of people dislike that. I did, I liked it, but I did think it was a bit boring, and they, they could have done it differently. They didn't need to bottle it with just that. They could have thrown in some uh, Alexandria stuff betwixt scenes, you know? And, uh, yeah, the 90-minute ones, I'm not really thinking I like a lot of them. Hmm. But I'm going to like this. I'm hoping, praying it's going to be really, really nice. And uh, it seems like it's going that way. Just wanted to say, confirmed, 90 minutes. Also, Stephen Ogg, who, um, he's been confirmed to play an unknown, an unnamed character. An unknown character that we don't know about yet. And for those of you that don't know who he is, have you played Grand Theft Auto V? GTA V's Trevor Phillips He's the guy that did the voice acting, the facial stuff, the uh, motion capture. Like, he's the actor for Trevor Phillips from Grand Theft Auto V. 
So I am super, super interested to see what kind of character they give him, like how they're putting him into the series. Now as for names and titles that I've heard, I don't think we're going to get anything 100% confirmed until maybe, until maybe like n Sunday when this episode airs and then they usually, when AMC posts the promo and sneak peek for the next episode, they'll have the title. I think that's when it'll be 100% confirmed, but at least right now there, there are two different reports I keep hearing. One is Last Day on Earth and one is Something to Fear. Now. Since pretty much the beginning of the season, I've been hoping that it would be... I didn't even think we'd get this far at the beginning of the season. Beginning of the season, I thought we'd maybe get to Finding the Hilltop. And as you all know, we have already blown past that. So I've been hoping ever since maybe mid-season break, when I saw how this was going, how fast it was going, that the finale would be titled Something to Fear. But... Last Day on Earth, seeing that, that's a, that's a pretty imposing title. That's like, I really, um, I really like that. I really think that might even be a better title than Something to Fear. It's just that, uh, for you that, for you's, really? For you that don't know, um, Something to Fear, this current storyline that we're in, that was the volume of the comics, that was the title of it. So... I always like when they throw in the comic titles as an episode title, so I'm kind of a sucker for that. So, I mean, that's part of why I'd be very happy if it was titled Something to Fear. So, getting into uh, getting into the main part of this, like uh, what the actors have said about it, giving some more, um, some more uh, insight on the emotions that we may be feeling... Um, that we need to prepare for. Uh, Andrew Lincoln, who plays Rick Grimes, of course, said that it made him feel, like, angry and sick. And he just, he had trouble sleeping the night before filming it, and he was late to filming that day because of it. And he just said it made him sick. And I think that is, the word sick is something that really cues us into how deeply disturbing this is going to be. How this is going to probably be one of the darkest darkest episodes of television, not even this show, but of television that you're probably going to see produced, <laughs> at least up until this point in time. Lauren Cohen, who plays Maggie, of Shiam, said that it was the hardest day on set she's ever had in her life, and hearing the word finale gives her like a physical reaction like and that she just it took everyone a long time to be okay again after that i do find that that's interesting too to of course when you're acting when you're playing that part and you're in it of course it would affect you because you're in it you're pretty much even though it's fake you're still sort of living it and i think that the that it had an effect like that on them I'm imagining that this is going to be like when the governor killed Herschel way back seasons ago. I think this is going to be like that, except cr like ramped up, crazy ramped up. This is going to be that impactful and more. Ross Marquand, who plays Aaron, said upon reading the script that it was the most like emotionally wrenching, the most dark, the most twisted episode of TV that he's he's ever read or seen made. So again, the darkest episode of television like this is going to be pretty incredible. It's going to be pretty insane to see. And honestly, depending on what they do, I have some different guesses, but um it's going to be so hard. I think it's going to be very difficult. Like I feel like there are a lot of things that could happen to elicit those sorts of reactions, but um here are some of my quick thoughts. Again, do no spoilers. Do not put spoilers down in the comments. And these aren't spoilers. These are just some guesses. I could say that things that could happen that could make us feel that Maggie could die. Maggie's pregnant. If she died, especially if Glenn was around when she died, I think that that's something that could definitely give us those reactions. Um, Glenn is very beloved, so if he died, then I could see that as well. Maybe not as much, since Glenn has sort of, um, 
since he had the fake out death earlier, which I do think was a really great move, but I do think it lessens the impact here, and I think that this entire season has brought Glenn's character to a different place in that he's still moving forward into the future, so I think killing him here may not be happening. Morgan, I could definitely see episode 15, Morgan redeems himself. Fans love him. Episode 16, he gets killed in a really like brutal and disgusting way, in a disrespectful way, and I think that that would get that emotion and it would turn fans. It would make fans say, you know, we've been talking trash about Morgan all season, but why? Why did this have to happen? I think that would be interesting. And the thing I'm most scared of, and the thing that I think could very much happen, is Carol gets killed in front of Daryl. I really strongly, like, Daryl could die, but honestly, with the stuff they're building with Daryl and Dwight, and sort of how they're like, they're opposites, they're on the two different sides fighting each other, I think that the Daryl and Dwight stuff makes it so I don't, I don't think so much that Daryl's going to die anymore. But um, not that I thought he was going to die that much to begin with. I, a lot of people are guessing Daryl, but I was never guessing Daryl very much. Um, I think that Carol, I really didn't want Carol to die, and I wasn't expecting her to die. But things just keep ramping up and ramping up with Carol's character. And I think it's got to be leading somewhere big. Either she's going to make some sort of big change, and Morgan dying could like be the trigger that causes the big change. So she might not die, but the way it's been building, I'm very much afraid that she's going to die. And I think seeing her get killed in front of Daryl and just watching Daryl watch her get killed, that would be the emotion. That would probably be the most emotional thing I could think of, except for Maggie being killed in front of Glenn. Maybe Glenn being killed in front of Maggie, but I think Maggie being killed in front of Glenn would of course be a lot worse. It would be a lot darker. Of course, they could kill Judith, Carl, or um, Rick, but I doubt it. I doubt they're killing any of them. Small possibility they kill Judith, but man, that'd be dark as hell too. But, I mean, Judith's like off-screen so much that like I don't know if that many people have that much of a connection to her. The only real, um, the only real sadness from it would be like, oh, they're killing a baby. So... I don't know. There's there's yes and no to why I think that could be a good idea or a bad idea. And honestly, that's all I got. This wasn't really supposed to be a prediction or guessing video. It's just um trying to bring up some... Uh, you know how Chris Hardwick helps us get through our emotions after an episode? Trying to help us get through them before it. Because I think that we are ramping up to something very dark, very gruesome, and... Um, not sure what it is, and of course I don't want to know what it is, not until I watch the episode. So please, once again, please refrain from posting any spoilers. I thank you all so incredibly much for watching. Uh, like if you liked the video, comment down there to tell me your thoughts on these emotions, your thoughts on um, what I said about it all. For the millionth time, no spoilers. I'm sorry I keep saying that. I just keep, it keeps popping into my head. Because I'm just so scared that somebody's going to ruin it for all of us. But, um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, subscribe for more The Walking Dead, Tower of God, One Piece, and a lot more. I do three videos on each every single week. Follow on Twitter for updates on whenever I post a new video or whenever I uh, have, to, have to push something back. I think that's about it. Thank you all so much for watching once again, and I will see you all next time.